The story so far. 2050, humans first arrive on Mars. By 2100, humans are living in space. That seems to track, actually. I, I believe NASA are planning on getting a man on Mars by, what, 2040? 2156, humans arrive in Alpha Centauri, 4.37 light years away from Earth. Okay, so it took about 106 years to get to another star system. 4.37 light years may sound like it's quite close, but that is actually quite far away and would take quite a lot of time unless you're doing, you know, fairly close to the speed of light itself. I mean, even if you were doing a tenth the speed of light, you're still talking about 44 years to get there. So either it took them 106 years to travel there, or more likely, it took them a while to develop the technology to do interstellar travel. 2159, the United Colonies are established. So basically, it took us three years to build up some colonies and then form a sort of coalition of colonies with some sort of unified government system, probably. 2160, New Atlantis is founded and becomes the official capital city of the United Colonies in 2161. New Atlantis. You know what? That's a pretty good name. If I was going to start a colony out in space, one of the first colonies ever, I, th I think I'd be looking for things like Atlantis, you know. You'd want to give it an epic sounding name. 2167. Cheyenne is settled by Solomon Co who founds its first settlement, Aquila City. This is approximately seven years after New Atlantis. So we're spreading out. It's taking a few years, but not that many, actually. 2188. Co invites Voli to join Cheyenne in a new alliance, the Free Star Collective. The Free Star Collective is officially formed in 2189. So 30 years after the United Colonies are established, we have a competing alliance in the Free Star Collective. 2194. The United Colonies position the star station called the Clinic in orbit around Dipala in the Narion system. The unaffiliated peoples of the Narion system see this as a UC attempt to expand their borders and demand the UC remove the clinic. When the UC refuses, the people of the nation of Narion vote to join the Free Star Collective, who mobilize to protect the system in 2195. Okay, calling your star station the clinic is probably a bad idea. I mean, yeah, it might suggest hospitals, healing. We're bringing a clinic to you guys. Isn't that great? But honestly, it actually sounds a bit nefarious. It sounds like the sort of place people go into and never come out of. I don't know if that's true, but mm, bad marketing. 2196. In response to Freestar mobilization, the UC moves a fleet into the Narian system and Freestar responds in kind. The Narian War begins. Because of course it does. I believe this is where I'm supposed to say something along the lines of uh, war. War never changes, I guess. Although it's more of a case of people. People never really change, isn't it? 2216. The Narian War drags on as public sentiment sours. Finally, the Treaty of Narian is signed by the UC and Freestar Collective in 2216, ending the conflict. The term Settled Systems is formalized in the treaty. It doesn't mention whether or not the Narian system remained part of the Freestar Collective or the United Coalition. Perhaps it was independent. Perhaps that's what Settle Systems meant. 2221. The Freestar Rangers are founded as an elite protective and investigative force dedicated to serving all citizens of the Freestar Collective. You see, Freestar Rangers, that's way better marketing. That's just got positive vibes all the way. 2275. Constellation is formed by Sebastian Banks. 
Original members include Chloe Bao, accomplished physicist, Aja Mamasa, the younger member and Sebastian's protege, Darius Andris, botanist and specialist in xenoflora, Bernadette Laurent, wealthy heiress and adventurer, Evar Everardo Gill, former smuggler, Kadri Toma, biologist and physician, the lodge is built in New Atlantis to serve the needs and people of Constellation for generations to come. No mention of what Constellation was formed to actually do, but given the interesting mix of characters forming it, it could pretty much be anything from, I don't know, the Royal Society all the way to the Illuminati. Although there are probably people who would suggest the two were um, pretty well linked to start with. 2305. Barrett joins Constellation. 2307. The Freestar Collective begins farming on the planet of Vesta in the Lunara system. By 2308, the United Colonies claim that by establishing a colony in a fourth star system, the Freestar Collective has violated the Treaty of Narion. Diplomatic talks break down and the UC lays siege to Vesta, killing anyone who stayed behind or was brought in to defend it. The colony war officially begins. Okay, when was the last war? That was 2197, so it'd been over a hundred years since the last war. Okay, 2310. Constellation comes into possession of their first artifact and tucks it away in the Constellation archives. Okay, so either Constellation were formed to find these artifacts, which begs the question, how did they know to go looking for them in the first place? Or whatever their original mission plan was, it probably became somewhat sidetracked by the discovery of this artifact whilst they were doing whatever it was they were formed to do. I suspect this was their intention all the time, which again does make me wonder, how did they know to go looking for this? Or did they just assume there should be something out there? 2311. After several years of conflict, the colony war effectively comes to an end with the Battle of Cheyenne as a flotilla of civilian and military Freestar Collective ships take down the major ships of the UC Navy using hit-and-run tactics. 2315. The UC Vanguard is founded as part of the UC response to the Freestar Collective's use of civilian ships during the Colony War. The Vanguard is the UC's own civilian navy, relying on civilians using their own ships, who pledge to protect the United Colonies and its interests. The ultimate reward for this service, citizenship in the United Colonies. 2319. Sarah Morgan becomes the youngest head of the UC Navigator Corps, though it's a short-lived position as the division is shut down in 2320, just a year later. Cast adrift but still eager to put her training to good use, Morgan joins Constellation. 2321. Walter Stroud, co-owner of Stroud Eklund, one of the Settle System's premier starship manufacturers, joins Constellation and becomes its primary financial backer. 2322, former Crimson Fleet pirate Vladimir Sal joins Constellation. Okay, getting a few new interesting and powerful recruits by the looks of things. 2325, Sarah Morgan becomes acting chair of Constellation. 2325 again. Theologian Matteo Catri joins Constellation. 2326. Barrett finds the original artifact in the Constellation archives and knows it must be special. Wait. 2310. They came into possession of the first artifact, but they stored it. It took six years before somebody decided that it was probably worth looking into. Okay. 2326, after months of correspondence with Sarah Morgan, graduate student and gifted scientist Noel, Noel is invited to join Constellation. 
No idea where I read that as Noel. Um, 2327. Free Star Ranger Sam Co and his daughter Cora join Constellation. So Free Star Ranger Sam Co is that somebody who's related to Solomon Co, who founded Aquila City in 2167? I'm going to guess it probably is. Almost 200 years later, and the family name is cropping up in historical record. A family of overachievers, basically. 2328, Andrea, or is that Andreja, joins Constellation. Also 2328, Barrett convinces Constellation to purchase Star Station L868 and modify it to become a deep space scanner nicknamed the Eye. Because that's not remotely intimidating, is it? I mean, I appreciate what they're trying to do is look out into deep space and find something, but maybe call it the Seeker, the Visionary or something, the Eye. It conjures up, you know, well, again, it conjures up intimidating imagery, doesn't it? Beware the eye. 2330 AD. Starfield begins. We are not stopping. Whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. This is where we belong.